Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today we're going to start with a full week of the Transforming Lions based on Legendary Defender that was released by Playmates Toys. Right off the bat, I was extremely surprised to see that Playmates Toys would be releasing a full set of Voltron toys, especially since Playmates has been known for doing subpar Team and T toys over the years, and the fact that these turned out a lot better than most of the lines that Playmates have been doing over the years. Another cool thing is that it's been a very long time since there's been a standard Voltron toy line even on store shelves, so it's really nice to see a new set of toys going alongside the Netflix cartoon series. Anyways, we'll start with the blue line and go in order where they appeared in the show. To start off, here is blue line. This is actually pretty cool since most of the lines are in a very similar scale outside of the black line, and they are also all in similar price points. All the four lines that are on the standard size are 20 bucks a piece in some retails, although they're supposed to retail for around 16 to 17 dollars, but most retailers actually bump the price of this particular line assortment to 20 dollars. Another thing is that all five of the lines will include very similar accessories, and that is either a weapon that attaches to the actual line itself, and a pilot. This one is actually Pilot Lance, so it's pretty cool that we actually see a little pilot that can go inside the line. Now what's also interesting is that for this show, they decided to change things around, and it's no longer Laura who is actually piloting the blue line this time around, since this time they decided to go with Lance, which is a big difference in a lot of the other earlier representations of this particular franchise. We're going to take a look at the box. The box is a pretty big box, actually. I was actually kind of surprised that it's in this kind of style. It would have been nice to see a full box style instead of a card, but I can understand why they do this for shelving purposes. It shows that it does have a firing ice ray. Picture of the blue line there. Shows a diagram of what part it forms, and it forms the right leg. On the back, it just shows pretty much what the toy could do, and another colored picture of the combined line. And a look that it does say that includes the little tiny pilot. Anyways, first we're going to go on with where the pilot goes. On pretty much all the lines in this particular assortment, what's going to happen is that you take the pilot, and underneath here is a little slot where you slide in the actual pilot, and you just snap it in, and there you have it. It also has this firing missile, which we're just going to quickly look at. Fires pretty decently, actually. I think they did a nice job with the spring there. And... Otherwise, we'll now move on to the articulation points. The tail can kind of swivel 360. It's not really an articulation point. It's just the way that you slide in the actual tail for transformation. It has ratchets in the back legs here. Although it doesn't have any movement outwards, it does have full 360 movement as long as you don't have the piece bumping into it up there. It also has another joint inside the leg at two points. So the first point up here and another point down here. So you can position it in several different ways. It does have a single joint at the foot there, but this material is actually very rubbery plastic. It's actually kind of surprising. It would have been nice to see if it was hard plastic, but I think it's really to budgetary and safety precautions. The front legs are ratcheted with the single joint there with a the ratchet and another joint there as well. So it does have a ton of ratchet joints. I'm going to take that off since it fell off. It has no waist articulation or anything of some of the sort there, but the head can up and down. It does have a spring-loaded mouth, and it can look left and right ever so slightly, but not by a whole lot. So that pretty much covers the blue line on its own. I think while the $20 price point might seem a little bit pricey, it's really how it all comes together when combining to the Voltron, and the fact that it's actually got some pretty good paint schemes, especially for a Playmates toy production. I got this at BBTS along with the rest of the standard lines, but for now, we'll be moving on to the second line, which will be the green line. Anyways, please comment, kind of subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hirotaku. Also, check out Twitter to Darkon633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go as soon as possible, and we'll be back with day two of Legendary Vulture Week. But for now, I'll be seeing you on YouTube. Bye.